Hello, I'm Robin Worley, and welcome to Lenscraft. In this week's Affinity Photo tutorial, we're going to be looking at masks, and I'm going to show you how to create a simple luminosity mask using some of Affinity's selection tools. Before we start using complex techniques like luminosity masking, I need to explain simply how masks work in Affinity Photo. To demonstrate this, I'm going to apply an effect to our image that's easy to see. First, I duplicate the image to a new layer. And then, I set the blending mode for the layer to screen. Notice how this brightens the entire image. Next, I'm going to apply a Gaussian Blur filter to the new layer. This creates a bright, glowing effect across the entire image. Let's also rename the layer to call it Blur Effect. Now, I'm going to add a mask to the layer effect using the shortcut icon at the bottom of the layers panel. You can see the new empty mask is attached to the layer, but it's not yet having any effect on the image. To see an effect, we need to paint on the mask using black paint. Start by selecting the Affinity Photo Brush tool. Check the brush is set to paint using black paint in the color panel. Now click the mask attached to the layer to ensure it's selected. If I now paint over the tower and pier, you'll see the effect layer is hidden where I paint. If I hold down the Option key on my keyboard and I click on the layer mask, it's displayed in the preview rather than the image. Click on the image to view it again. If I toggle the mask off, this allows the effect to be seen across the entire layer. What the mask is doing is hiding the effect layer where the mask is black. Where the mask's white, the effect of the layer is seen. The mask I've created is a little like a pixel layer, and I can apply adjustments to it as I can a pixel layer. For example, I can apply a Gaussian Blur filter to the mask to soften the edges where I painted. I'm now going to delete this mask, but I'll show you a simple way to create a luminosity mask using similar techniques. For this example, I'm going to create a mask from the shadow tones in the image. First, click on the background layer so that you're working with that and not the effects layer. Now, create a selection of the photo shadow tones using the select menu. The selection shows up as what we call Marching Ants. Click on the Effects layer now to select it. Then add a new mask to the layer using the icon at the bottom of the Layers window. This time when you add the mask, it converts the selection into a black and white mask. You can see this holding down the Option key and clicking on the mask as we did before. Now I'm just going to clear the selection using the deselect icon in the toolbar. As before, the white areas allow the effect to be seen, and the black areas will be hiding the effect. This is actually the reverse of what I want, so I'm going to invert the mask by holding down Command and I on my keyboard. This is going to hide the layer effect from the darkest areas on the photo, but allows it to be seen in the lightest. Again, we can apply a Gaussian Blur filter to the mask to blend the effect layer with the image.
You can also use the same approach to make selections of the red, green or blue colours in the image. Although this is a very simple example, it's also quite powerful and you can apply the techniques over and over again using different selections. I hope you found today's video helpful. If you have, please click the like button and please share it with others. I'm Robin Worley, you've been watching Lenscraft. I'll see you next week for another video.